everyone. I hope you are all having a great day today. My name is Mia and I am a newborn photography specialist in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I also make my own props and I sell them as well. Uh, this little purple set that she is wearing, um, the bonnet and the wrap, is my Adeline set in the dusty purple color. Um, and I will link my shop in the description down below. I posted a sped up version of this screen recording to my Instagram Reels and one of my followers asked me to share a real-time editing video here on YouTube, so that is what I will be showing you today. I edit all of my photos in Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop and I use Jessica Guzman's um, Presets and Actions by Jess. I will link Jessica's shop where you can buy her presets and actions if you are needing some editing tools. These are amazing. If you are interested in learning and specializing in newborn photography, I highly, highly recommend joining Jessica's online class. It's called Mastering Newborn Photography with Jess. I am actually in her mentoring class and I feel like it's really helped me a lot in just taking better photos and just my overall growth with my business. Uh, right now, what you're seeing on the screen, I am just using the healing brush tool to clean up all of those little baby pimples and dry skin flakes. I like to use the healing brush just to get rid of anything that I feel is distracting in the image. And I just kind of like to start with a clean slate before I use any of the skin actions from the um, Baby Butter and Finishing Touch skin actions. After I use the healing brush, I am going to grab the little patch tool over here and just continue with clearing the skin. Um, when you're using the patch tool, just make sure that when you drag your selection to another area, you stay in the areas that's close to where you are correcting to make sure that the skin texture is consistent. You don't want to grab um, a spot from a different area that has a completely different texture, otherwise it will be noticeable that that spot was corrected. Here is a before and after. And now I'm going to find my little no reds action from the finishing touch actions by Jess. And I'm just going to brush that over the little spots on her face that have a little bit more red to just kind of tone those down. Next, I am going to go in with the Ivory Skin Serum from Jessica's Baby Butter Actions. This is where all of the magic happens. Um, there is also a No Reds Action built in with the Ivory Skin Serum, and I think the rest of the skin serums have that too. Um, and I will use that if I feel like there are still areas that need to be desaturated a little bit more. Um, this is going to pretty much smooth the skin so that it looks perfect and her skin tones are blurred, but the skin texture is also maintained. Um, I love these actions because they don't make the baby look fake. Sometimes I see other photographers editing, and this is all just personal preference. I am not bashing anybody who really likes to have super smooth skin in their photos. Um, just me personally, I like to try to make it look as perfect as possible but also I don't want it to look 
super smooth because it just makes the baby look unreal. Now I'm just going to lower my opacity on that layer to where I'm satisfied with it and show you before and after. And then I'm just going to grab the rosy cheeks when with my brush tool, I'm going to put a little bit of a blush tone on her cheeks. Next, I'm going to find the um, Pretty Lashes Action from Jessica's Finishing Touch Actions. And I'm just going to brush that over her eyelashes to try to make them a little bit more detailed and prominent. And then sometimes I like to use it on the eyebrows also. And I lower my opacity down to about 25 to 30 when I use this on their lashes because you don't want it to be too dark. It can look a little crazy if you go too dark. lips and I'm just gonna brush that over her lips um, and what that does is it kind of sharpens it brings a little bit more of a pinky color to it you can also use the rosy cheeks action if you want to make a baby's lips a little bit more pink um, some babies have pinker lips than others so it's nice to have that tool to just kind of um, bring a little bit more color back to the lips so now that I am pretty much finished with all of these skin corrections, I'm going to get this um, skin texture action and that's pretty much just going to bring back a little bit more detail in the skin texture from where we smoothed everything out. Now I am applying um, the Plum Haze. And I'm using this haze a little bit different um, on this particular photo because I wanted her um, bonnet, the wrap, and the rabbit fur that is under her to have a little bit more purple tone to them. And so I applied it and erased it off of her face and hands and now I am erasing it off of my little bamboo bed and my wood floor backdrop. decreased the opacity on the plum haze and now I am going to go to um, the your haze option and with your haze you can pick your own color and so I am just kind of using my dropper tool to pick a shade from the wood backdrop Pretty much just gonna erase that off of baby and off of everything that's purple and have it applied to only the prop and the um, the wood floor here I am just applying a um, little preset it's just definition it makes the highlights a little bit brighter and the shadows just a teeny bit darker um, it just kind of adds more contrast to the photo
and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the high definition action and that is just going to sharpen everything. It really just kind of completes the image and I always feel accomplished when I hit that button. 